Hi hey everyone, this is John Oden with Boson Software and welcome to our video walkthrough of NetSim Standalone Lab 2 entitled Router Basics Part 1. This lab is from the ICND1 module. Let's watch as Chad Altman, who heads up the NetSim development team, walks us through this lab. Hello. Today we're going to be working inside the Boson NetSim using uh, Router Basics Lab, which is standalone lab number 2. As I view the lab instructions, you can see we have a topology diagram as well as a command summary that lists the commands that are used within this lab. We'll go ahead and get started with the first couple of commands and tasks within this lab. So we're at the, the command line prompt. When we want to establish a connection to the router, we type enable. If we want to leave the connection, disable. If you wanted to view a list of the available commands, press the question mark and then the spacebar will show you more of those commands. If we enable back into the router, we do the question mark again to view the commands from the privilege level, and then we'll nest into deeper commands such as the show and the commands that are available following the show command. Next, we're going to configure security for the, for the router to secure our, our connection so that we are the only ones that are able to log into the device. Start off by entering configuration mode, Establishing a host name. The next thing we'll do is an enable password. Enables a low level password, but it at least provides some restriction for us. And so we'll show you how that password is used. If you log back out of the router, you go to establish a connection again. Now it prompts for the password. Typing in boson will give me the connection back to the device. We can configure a securely encrypted password, such as the enable secret. We can test this password as well by logging out of the device again. And logging back in. If we wanted to test to make sure that the password is working, rather than typing boson, I'm going to type Cisco. See authentication failed, I type boson, and I'm logged back in. You can also uh, add passwords to different connections you can make to the device, such as the console connection. So we're going to line con zero, login connection is what we want to password protect. Add the password of Cisco. Now to test that we actually are have a, a console connection password established. We'll go ahead and log out of the device again. The password that's required now, if I type Cisco, you can see that that connection password worked. I accidentally typed the wrong T the first time. That completes this uh, configuration for uh, the Boson NetSim Router Base. It's lab number one. Thank you for your time.